All right then, so now we're gonna try writing to files and I've already prepped a couple of things here so that you don't have to watch me write them all out from scratch. So I've got the if check and the main function defined and I've also made a function called write character to file, which is where all the logic is gonna go. And I've invoked that function inside the main one down here. Finally, I've added this list of characters at the top of the file and these are the things I ultimately want to write to a file. So then the first thing we're going to do is accept an argument in the write characters function, which we'll call file name. So when we invoke this, we can pass that file name in, which represents the file we want to write. So I could pass in a file name like characters.txt as a string. And by using an argument to pass this file name in, we're making the function a bit more reusable because whenever we invoke it, we can decide a new file name rather than hard coding that file name in the function itself. Anyway, now we can start fleshing this function out and we still need to go through the same three steps essentially. First, we need to open the file and specify the open mode. Remember that was R for reading in the last lesson, but this time we'll use W for writing. Second, we need to perform whatever task if we want to do with the file in this case it's going to be writing to the file and then third we should close the file by using the close method so let's walk through these three steps one at a time all right so let's start with opening the file right here now we've already seen how to open a file we say file is equal to open then we pass in a path at the minute we're using relative paths and we have that path right here that we pass through as an argument so we can just say file name then as the second argument is the mode. Now previously we used R to read the file. Now we're gonna use W to write to the file. So we've opened the file. Now we wanna to write to it. So what I'm gonna say is for C in characters to loop through the characters list right here. And we refer to each character as C. And each time we iterate this, we wanna take the character and write it to the file. So down here, I'm gonna say file and then use a method called write. This is how we write to the file. And we wanna write the character to the file. Now, in the last lesson, I mentioned that if a file didn't exist, when we opened it up in read mode, then that causes an error. However, when we open something in write mode, then if the file doesn't exist, it creates it for us. And I'm gonna demonstrate that by just deleting this file. So, let me save this now, and in fact, let's close the file by saying file.close at the bottom. Right, so let's run this file and we should see it create the characters file and then write all the characters to that file. Let's run it and we can see the file, it creates it and all of the characters are in here all bunched up. Now what I'd like to do is instead of having them all bunched up like that, have each character on its own new line. So I can concatenate to this right here, another part of a string and that's gonna be backslash n. So this is a new line character. And whenever it sees this, it's gonna go into the new line after each character. So now if I save and run this, we should see it recreate this. And now every character is on its own line. Now notice it didn't do it after the line of characters that we already had. It deleted those first or truncated the file, meaning it got rid of all of the content in the file when we reopened it and then did the whole write again. So when we open a file, in write mode, it truncates the file to begin with, meaning it clears out all the content and resets the pointer, which you can imagine as this thing right here, the cursor, if you like, right to the start of the file. And then we write the characters from scratch. And then once we've written the characters, the cursor is then at the end of the file, right? But then if we open the file again, using this open method in write mode, it's gonna truncate the file again, and it would then delete all of the content and we'd start again to write the characters. That's how this open method works when we're in this mode, W. Now, also since we're in write mode right here, if we try to read the file, then it's gonna cause an error. And I can demonstrate that. What I'm gonna do is say content is equal to file.read and invoke that. And then I'm gonna try and print out the content. Now, if we run this, we're gonna see a little error. You can see this right here, file.read is causing an error. It says it's not readable. So when we open something up in write mode, just using a W, we cannot read that file. However, if we open something up in W plus mode, it means we can write to the file, but also we can read from the file as well. However, 
if I save this, we're not going to get an error this time, but we're not actually going to see any content here when we try and print it. And I'll explain why in a moment, but let me just run the file. So no error right here. This was the previous time we ran. No error here, but we don't see any content, even though we've written to the file. So why is that? Well, a moment ago, I talked about the cursor, right? Or the pointer in the file. So when we open a file using the open method and any kind of W right here to say we're in write mode or write plus mode, then it truncates the file. It deletes the content and it places the pointer right at the start. Then down here, we write to the file. So we write all of this stuff and now the pointer is at the end of the file. So then if we try to read the file, it goes from this pointer onwards and there's nothing after the pointer, it's all before it. So that's why we don't see anything down here. It's trying to read the content after the pointer. So we need a way to put the pointer back to the start of the file essentially. So it can read the content we've just written. And we can do that easily by using the seek method. So I could say file.seek and then I could pass in here zero and zero, right? So this essentially resets the pointer back to the start. And then when I try to read the file, we should grab all the content. So let me run this again. And now we can see all that content right here. So I know that might be a lot to take in in just one lesson, but just remember, if we open up in write mode, just with a W and no plus sign, we cannot read the file as well. But also when we open up in write mode, it truncates the file first. So we're starting over with a blank slate, if you like, in that file. And then we can write to that file and the pointer stays in the position where we finish writing. Now, if we want to read the file as well, then we need W plus. And then since the pointer is still in the end position right here, after we write, we reset the pointer like this. Once we've done that, we can read the file content, okay?